afternoon. Good afternoon. Namaste. My name is Nick Earl. I'm the Senior Vice President for our field operations at Hyperloop One. You only have to look around this room to realize that today is an extremely significant event. From the moment the concept of the Hyperloop was first published in late 2013, the world has got extremely excited about the possibilities. Just think about what could be possible. The ability to go from Delhi to Mumbai in 80 minutes. The ability to live 300 kilometers from where you work and still be able to get there in less than 30 minutes. The ability for every journey to be point to point with no stopping in between. The ability for freight to move coast to coast the same day without the need for the freight stopping. This technology is not just a high-speed transportation innovation, it is actually a transformation innovation that will affect society, will affect business, but most importantly, will give incredible amounts of time back to citizens all around the world. I want to thank all of you for coming, especially our honored guests, many of whom will be speaking. We have a packed agenda, and I know we're tight on time, so I'm going to immediately hand over to our executive chairman, our co-founder, Mr. Sherbin Pishabar. Please welcome Sherbin to the stage. Good evening. It's a, it's a great honor to be here in, in uh, India uh, with all of you. Uh, strategically for us, uh, India is, is one of the most important nations in the world, a superpower. Um, not just a superpower in terms of political might, but the superpower of, of energy, of, of brilliance, of engineering talent, of brain power, of human capital. Um, where I live in Silicon Valley, I've seen the incredible talent that's flown to America and then helped build so many incredible companies. Uh, and so many of uh, those people who are friends of mine are beginning to make the migration back to India. And in many ways, uh, we are here because of that talent. Um, a, a good friend of mine, I'll give you this. this. Um, so uh, if you would like to make some comments, it would mean a lot to us. Thank you so much, Mr. You must be knowing we in India are one of the large world's largest network. We are working on quite a few strategies to become the relevant. Technology operation, infusion of capital, getting new ideas, training of people, revamping the organization, many of these things. So one of the components of that is speed. Not just speed of implementation, which all already increased the laying of track from 3 kilometers to more than 9 kilometers a day. And we have, of course, targeting more more. But speed by which people can travel. And there we have multiple strategies. One is to increase the average speed of all our operations. Second, we have taken some corridors, like Mumbai, Delhi, Delhi, Kolkata. Which are the main two trunk routes. We pass through one of the most populous states of India, like Delhi, Kolkata, those who are in the And there, we are already trying to increase the speed with existing routes. Then we are using Delhi, Chandigarh, and using our some partners to the NRC speed there. On the other side, we are working on high speed railway. And we are working with Shinkansen, Japan, and that will be somewhere in the vicinity of 330 kilometers per hour. That is already at advanced stage. 2018, we will be groundbreaking and start over. The third and the fourth is something very interesting. He said, why in India we should not develop our own technologies? why we should import technology and then develop it. So we invited in October, six companies came from the world, and we said we'd like to have 600 kilometers plus technology. Obviously, it's not commercialized, and that's why we want it. Because if it's commercialized already, then we have to only have pay to get license. So we said we co-develop a technology with a partner who has already got some idea, and then we co-develop in India, then manufacture in India, then use in India, then export one day maybe to US. 
And that was that was the idea. And we already started working on it. Six companies have come forward, and we are at a very advanced stage of working with them. So this will be the first. I even call, don't call it high-speed railway because high-speed railway is a generic name now, which normally confines itself to about 330, 340 kilometers. This will be much higher than that. And therefore, we are working on that study. And therefore, we'll be very happy to find out how you develop, how you go along. And I'm sure in India, you want to know how you succeed. There are enough number of people who can guide you looking at your horoscope. <laughs> Where are you going to go? So investors will look at your balance sheet and your projections, but these people will not look at any of those, but can tell you exactly where you are going to go. <laughs> but if you ask me, I am not neither an astrologer nor an investor. So how do I judge your future? I think I was just looking at it, your world headquarters was in a garage. So you have a lot of contemporaries, not contemporaries, but someone who has the same ancestry, Google started from Gharat, Facebook virtually almost from there. So if you can go by that, you have chosen a garage to start your world headquarters, then I am sure you will go the way they have gone. So I really wish you all the best, <laughs> offering my best wishes and all the successes. And we will be very happy, as I said, we will watch it very interestingly. As I said, in India we have to follow a very rigorous process before selecting a partner. We have to have a process which has to be extremely transparent, extremely participating, and something which will really inspire the confidence of anybody who feels that what we are doing is right. In fact, we awarded two major contracts for Alstom and G. And the G and Alstom said they were the best processes followed anywhere in the world. And those who lost, they were also Fortune not 500, but Fortune 5 companies. And they said they are happy that they lost because the process was so transparent. So I think this is something which is non-negotiable. You can follow extremely transparent process to arrive at a decision. But as I said, our minds are open. Though we will not go hyper right now, <laughs> we are happy about it.